Hey, 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 what's up everyone? Are you looking at class B camper vans or thinking about getting into the van life? Well, I have the perfect camper to show you. This is a 2023 Roadtrek Zion SRT. Comes with a queen size bed, a toilet, and I can stand up. Let's check out this camper and let me know what you think. Okay, first thing is first, I wanna take you around the outside of this and show you the exterior. Stick around for the interior. The Zion SRT is under 20 feet long and comes in with a 159 inch 3500 series Dodge Ram Promaster. This is the road trek. You can noticeably tell by the decals up top. We have a beautiful electric awning on here. Once the awning's opened up, we can bring down the poles and connect them right into these brackets. We can operate the awning either by an app on our phone or by the Firefly system. Now onto the tires, which come with a 225-75 R16. These are an LT light truck heavy duty tire. Perfect for the Ram 3500, carrying around all of our house over top of the wheels. Also has nice size door in there with the power steps. We'll go inside in just a second. Walking around the porch side or the curb side, we'll see that there's a bunch of bunches of windows. Unlike many of Road Trek's competitors, we also have our porch lights, our backup camera, our air conditioner. We can tow up to 3,500 pounds back here. Right here are some of our plugs and connections. Power plug over there on the far left. Now let's open up the back door, check out our garage area. We also have a spot where we can store that lagoon style table in the back. Inside of here we have a queen size bed and a 24 inch smart TV. We also have these screens and this one pops down, turns into some storage as well. And on the side we have the screen netting for the side door as well. This camper is 9 foot 5 inches tall including the air conditioner. Now we're seeing how you operate the screen. You can zip it up, zip it down. They have screens in there, there's some compartments. That way we can get the air, keep the privacy, not get all the bugs in there, depending on what we're doing. The exact overall length of this is 19 foot 7 inches. Now let's go on to the driver's side or the road side. Here is going to be our outside external shower. Pop that open here with the key and show you that. We have our hot and cold water with our shower spigot that comes out. Spray off the kids, spray off the dog, spray off your neighbor. Tuck that right back, back in. Then down on the side here, we have our dump station. This is for our toilet and our wastewater macerator this also has two different ways to dump either the macerator or your standard gravity dump here's our water heater on-demand water heater go inside push the button to turn it on furnace exhaust I just wanted to point out the gas door, this is gasoline, that's how we fill the gas tank. Now let's go inside and check out the inside cab. This is a standard Dodge Promaster 3500 with a push start. 
It's very user friendly, easy to, easy to figure out the controls and how it works. This 3500 has a beautiful camera system in there, plenty of compartments. You'll see here on how we have the swivel seats. Both seats swivel around. And at the corner is how you turn them. All right, now let's go over the interior of this beautiful camper. This whole area right here turns into our queen size bed, but we also have the dinette with a sofa in the back so we can still get some company in here to hang out and play some cards or just have that nice relaxing feeling in here. So right now I wanna show you how you turn this into a queen size bed. There's two different features to this or two different control panels to turn this. You either have in the back or in the front. On the master control panel up front, we're going to go right to the Firefly system, sofa, and then we do the extend. Okay, now we'll look back here, make sure everything's moved out of the way, like this table that is not. All we're doing with that is just turning it a little bit, popping that leg right off. This is a lagoon style table. So you're just loosening the legs, pulling this leg right off from here. Then you can hide this wherever you'd like. For now, we're going to put it right down here. First and foremost, I wanna show you a nice little place that you can put the table so you're not dealing with it just laying around and looking sloppy. Perfect, there we go. Just like that, now we have our desk area over here. And now, we have this open section here, which is where the rest of our bed goes. We move these two cushions here, which ex exposes our last little piece of bed. Now this sits right on these guide supports Right there. Just like that. Now you have your full queen size bed, okay? Also back here, you have switches. I'll show you how to turn that back into a sofa. We do not need this to turn back into a table to do that. We can flip the sofa up at any time. Now this button right here says power sofa extend and power sofa retract. And it's that simple. It works quick. And we're done with the sofa, just like that. All right, now let's take this table and bring it back in the back. Right now I've got it set a little high for the desk area here. Now I want to lower that down. Perfect. Now, grab this and bring it in the back. All right, set that down. Take out our two back cushions. Take out our extra mattress piece. Put that down underneath. Mattress pad in the back, mattress pad in the back. Take our detonate table. Match it into the bracket. And then twist to tighten it. And there it is. Okay, now let's go over the rest of the interior. You're going to see cup holders all over this thing. Bunch of storage compartments. We have cruise control on here. We have the radio dials on the steering wheel. Over here is a wireless charger. 
throw your phone in there and it'll charge automatically. Not always with a phone case though, and some of the older models don't always work. All the different plugs. We have an awesome camera system. Right here is going to show the backup camera. Sorry about the streaks, it just happens with the videotaping of a screen. Glove box, little shelf above that. We have our overhead storage up front. And that's what we can reach from sitting down, throw our maps up there, whatever we'd use while driving. And now let's circle around and go through the whole interior of the coach. Before we walk in, we'll open up this extension on the countertop. That way we can easily prepare food. And then we just click the little switch, pop it down. Plugs, USB, beautiful countertop, heavy duty countertop with the sink cover, stainless steel sink. Next to that is our induction stove. Does turn, does spray. This is our electric induction stove. Down below, we're going to see our drawers, more plugs, shelves. Show you this again for some reason. You can't slam it, it's got the anti slam hinges. 120 volt power, plug in all those kitchen accessories. More cabinets and shelves. You can never have enough in the cabinet in the kitchen area. Now we're going into the side door which shows that we have this bug screen. And right there is our shade. Again for the privacy levels while we're camping it's kind of nice just so everybody can't see what we're doing inside but we still have that breeze fire extinguisher down below right behind the seats plugs everywhere trust me they're needed yep there's our front overhead storage and here's our back overhead storage while we're in our camper we've got some nice overhead storage to throw those extra blankets right here's a smoke detector this is our firefly system. I could easily go over this whole thing a lot more with you in detail, but that would take a whole different video. You can download an app on your phone and run it through your app. This is going to show you how to operate the lights, your sofa, your awning. Right now we're turning on our batteries. Turn on the light switch. Push and hold for three seconds. That'll turn on all of our lights for us. Then we can turn each individual one off and back on. This Firefly system also connects our battery, turns on our step, checks our levels for our drains and our tanks, battery system. And now I wanna show you how to turn this thing around. So at the corner, there's a little lever. Just pop that lever move the seat forward and you can turn the captain's chair right around on the swivel. On the opposing side is how you flip it back and forth with your stance in your seat. That's the captain's chair and the swivel. Do the same thing with the driver's seat. It only turns about 45 degrees. Right here is our bathroom with our mirror pop up that latch which is our lock 
Here is our wet bath. Comes with a standard black plum toilet, shower, and even comes with a sink, mirror, light, and the doors don't close all the way to give us a little bit more showering room. When you use a shower curtain, you won't get the outside wet. Yeah, see, I can move around in here, and I'm 6'2", 180 pounds, just to give some kind of reference. All right, getting outside of the bathroom. Now we're going to see carbon monoxide detector, the vent for the heat, access panels to get underneath, check out the water system. Looks like water heater access under here. Over here is going to be some a power station for what we're sleeping with our bed buttons as well. Here is our 12 volt compressor style fridge, runs off battery. It's a double door, so we have our fridge section here and our freezer section up top. Right here is going to be our pantry. Pull out that pantry. 12 volt fan above that, runs off battery, draws minimal amounts of watt. Here's our huge pot and pan drawer is what I consider it, but it'd also be perfect for a dresser. Now we're going back in above the queen size bed area. You can see how the table is right now. Windows that open and close. Cabinets above. This has our monitoring system in here. Overhead storage. Low profile air conditioner. Over on the other side, we have another overhead storage cabinet with our lights or with our plugs for our TV. Right there's the window showing the blind and the screen and how they connect in the center. 24 inch smart TV on the swivel so you can swivel that around. I'll tell you though, nothing's easy one-handed, so, oh, there we go. All you gotta do is unclip, or unclamp it. Now we have our nice big closet door over here. This is like our wardrobe door, where we can fit the table in there as well. Hang our clothes. Next to that's going to be our microwave which you can only run off 110 power or off the generator. This does have the onboard generator which runs right off our alternator. This camper is an overall of 19 foot 7 inches long so you can still fit in that standard parking space. And this is a Zion SRT. All right, we made it to the end of the video. And again, as always, thank you for coming and watching these videos. If you like these kind of videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I have weekly uploads that are consisting of camper tours, camper comparisons, and my camper walkthrough. Thanks for watching, everyone.